After reaching a settlement of $7 million, the largest settlement in Colorado history for a civil rights lawsuit not involving a death, the department released a statement saying, quote, The actions of former Officer Hanning are not reflective of the culture of our organization. <laughs> this is very much the culture at the Idaho Springs Police Department. Hanning, in his deposition, described having seen his fellow officers tase people in the back who were just walking away. What he did was totally irresponsible and criminal, and he never spent one day in the jail. I've learned, be careful where you place your trust. Officer Hanning was fired from the department and charged with felony assault, but took a plea deal, pleading his charges down to third-degree misdemeanor assault, and was sentenced to only two years of probation. Hanning spent no time in jail, which Michael's family and attorney were very upset about. What this district attorney's office is saying is to its officers is that we've got your back. It was May 30th, 2021. Idaho Springs, Colorado police got a call about a disturbance at an apartment complex. They arrive and talk to the woman who alleges to be a victim who claims that her next door neighbor came over, knocked on her door, and then punched her in the face. It was later determined that the accused likely never even left his apartment at all. It was the officer's interaction with the accused that would result in one officer being fired and criminally charged, and a Colorado civil rights lawsuit record being reached at $7 million. Here's what happened. No, no, no. Hey, hey, I'm Come here. I'm Tim. This is Brittany. That was the neighbor right there. Yeah. We're the ones that called. Wait, wait. This is Brittany. Okay. She's the one that got hit. I'm, I live here. This is my yeah, friend Brittany. There, there. And then this is my neighbor that hit her. I wasn't even here. I was outside. Okay. She's on the phone to dispatch it. What, which one? Okay. Which? Okay. This All right. neighbor Thank right you. here is what she um, said. Okay. Like I said, I wasn't in here. I literally she just saw it. banged you. on the door, like, or through the wall. Bam, 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 and I'm sleeping. Shut the fuck up. And so I like came out and was like, what, what's going on? Uh -huh. He wasn't here. Dog wasn't here. Okay, then what's going on? I came out and I was like, what's going on? Right to the fucking mouth. Okay. Okay, which room is he in? I don't know. Right there, possibly. Okay, okay. what's he doing? He is an older man. I, I honestly don't know. When you get knocked the fuck out, you don't really. We just moved into the West okay. When did this happen? 20 minutes, 15. I, like, I called. Not I, even. I, yeah, not even. I called, like, I walked in the door you? and. Uh, he busted all of my shit. My nose, my mouth. Okay. All I, yeah, I want to do was like, here. hey, was what, was, what was disturbing you? And he was like, shut the fuck up. Boom. Was he white, black? Hispanic? He's white. Does he have hair? Yeah. He bald? So gray my, hair? Yeah, gray hair. He's an older guy. He's maybe about this tall. Okay. That, and that guy lives right there in that room. And that's where the wall would go. He, he was bang, before. bang, bang. As that's you can see, the officers knock, but they don't announce themselves as police, and they stand at the sides of the door so that the resident can't see them through the peak hole. The man answers the door with a weapon in his hand, but he immediately puts it away when he realizes that it's police. I'm going to put my dog in the bathroom, okay? Okay. What do you want? What the fuck? Put it down, motherfucker! Put it down! Put it down! Get, Get on here. the ground now! Back up, back up, back up. Get out here right now! Get out here! I hit that Get on wall. the ground! No! They hit that wall so hard, I thought they were gonna come through the wall. While 75-year-old Michael Clark stands there, completely unarmed in his boxers, Officer Nicholas Hanning shoots him with a taser. Clark goes down hard, hitting his head on the floor, triggering a series of medical issues, including a stroke that would permanently change Michael Clark's life. Ah, ah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. 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 
Part's unconscious. Michael is unconscious as the two animals drag his body out of the apartment and handcuff him. 207 taser deployed. Party came out with a machete. Did you catch any of our traffic? Yeah, they just got us. Okay, we're going to get Can you start an ambulance? All right, let's get him set up. Turn that off. Yeah, I got it off. As a result of the tasing, Michael suffered a heart attack, a stroke, multiple seizures, and spent months in the hospital and being rehabilitated. His rehabilitation is still going on today. Officer Hanning was fired from the department and charged with felony assault, but took a plea deal, pleading his charges down to third-degree misdemeanor assault, and was sentenced to only two years of probation. Hanning spent no time in jail which Michael's family and attorney were very upset about. What this district attorney's office is saying is to its officers is that we've got your back. They did send us an email about two or three weeks ago just telling us that the plea was going to be to third degree assault without explanation, um, without consulting, um, without asking what Mr. Clark would want. He is permanently brain damaged. He cannot cook. He cannot um, bathe himself. He cannot use the restroom himself. Multiple letters were sent to Judge Cynthia Jones begging her not to grant the plea deal. But criminals protect criminals. And that's exactly what Judge Cynthia Jones did when she granted the plea deal, essentially allowing Hanning to get away with his crime. After reaching a settlement of $7 million, the largest settlement in Colorado history for a civil rights lawsuit not involving a death, the department released a statement saying, quote, the actions of former Officer Hanning are not reflective of the culture of our organization. <laughs> Michael's attorney disagrees. This is very much the culture at the Idaho Springs Police Department. Hanning, in his deposition, described having seen his fellow officers tase people in the back or just walking away. You think he should have gone to jail? Yes. What he did was totally irresponsible and criminal, and he never spent one day in the jail. I've learned, be careful where you place your trust. It's been torturous because I want out, I want to get, I want a life. I lost everything. They took everything from me. I lost my whole life. Money will never repay what they took. But maybe this much money will make them think about doing this to someone else. The simple fact is, the night before Memorial Day 2021, my father was brutally attacked by a member of the Idaho Springs Police Department as another officer let it happen. Hopefully, more people will take to heart this statement from Michael Clark. I've learned, be careful where you place your trust. <laughs>